Listen, everybody, to the words I have to say. Better get ready. This is Daniel White the Fourth, and for my father, Daniel White the Third, with the Second Coming Watch update. This is update number 462. Let's take a quick look at today's prophecy related headlines, which point towards the Second Coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and the end of the world as we know it. First, according to the Jerusalem Post, a senior Israeli military official said the Islamist Hamas movement is probably not responsible for a recent upsurge in rocket fire out of Gaza, where it rules, but will be made to suffer if the salvos continue. The official, who declined to be named, said Hamas should intervene to squash the violence, which he blamed on smaller militant groups backed by Iran. Hamas accused Israel on Thursday of exacerbating tensions and said it bore full responsibility for the renewed troubles. After months of unusual quiet along the fence that separates southern Israel from the Gaza Strip, some 20 missile launches have been detected in the last month, with five fired towards the Israeli city of Ashkelon overnight. Israel's Iron Dome missile defense system knocked out all five projectiles, and the military responded with a series of strikes across Gaza, reviving memories of 2011 and 2012 when such tit-for-tat firing became the norm. Second, according to Reuters, in a statement that suggested a rerun of a sharp escalation in tension last year, North Korea has demanded that South Korea and the United States halt annual military drills due in February and March, saying they were a direct provocation. In 2013, North Korea said it would retaliate against any hostile moves by striking at the U.S., Japan, and South Korea, triggering a military buildup on the Korean Peninsula and months of fiery rhetoric. The reclusive North has regularly denounced annual drills such as Key Resolve and Ulchi Freedom Guardian staged by South Korea and the United States as a prelude to invasion. Third, according to the Press Trust of India, at least 16 people have been killed and 40,000 have fled their homes after torrential rain triggered flash floods and landslides on Indonesia's northern Sulawesi Island. Rivers on the island's northern tip overflowed and burst their banks, sending torrents of water surging through the city of Manado and surrounding areas that swept away poorly constructed houses and vehicles. People waded through waist-deep water to get to safety, while some took to rubber dinghies to escape the rapidly rising floodwaters. Many of those displaced took shelter in government buildings and churches in the Christian pocket of Muslim-majority Indonesia. Indonesia is regularly affected by deadly floods and landslides during its wet season, which lasts for around six months. Fourth, according to Reuters, China's defense ministry said it has flight tested a hypersonic missile delivery vehicle in a move that was scientific in nature and not targeted at any country. A Chinese military buildup has raised jitters in the region. Many countries in Asia have welcomed a stated U.S. intention to shift more tension and military assets back to the region. They are beefing up military spending and ties with Washington. The Beijing Defense Ministry said in a faxed response to Reuters, Our planned scientific research tests conducted in our territory are normal. These tests are not targeted at any country and at any specific goals. The statement confirmed a report by the online Washington Free Beacon newspaper that the hypersonic glide vehicle was detected flying at 10 times the speed of sound over China last week. A spokesman for the Pentagon said it was aware of the test. The Free Beacon said the test made China the second country after the United States to have successfully tested a hypersonic delivery vehicle able to carry nuclear warheads at a speed above Mach 10, or 7,675 miles per hour. Fifth, according to the Associated Press, State wildlife officials are trying to figure out why all the fish have died in a northern Nevada mariner, where the stocked fishery has flourished since the man-made lake was created nearly 15 years ago. 
An estimated 100,000 trout, bass, and catfish have died over the past month in the Sparks Marina along U.S. Interstate 80, east of Reno, apparently the result of a dramatic unexplained drop in dissolved oxygen levels. Scientists say a bitter cold snap could have caused oxygen poor waters to rise from the old rock quarry's bottom to the surface, but they don't understand what sparked the massive die off. Jesus Christ said in John 14, 1 through 3, Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you into myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. Our second coming quote for today is from Andrew Murray. He said, There is such a danger of our becoming so occupied with the things that are to come, more than with him who is to come. You can read these stories in more detail and get more prophecy-related news at secondcomingherald.com. If you are not ready for the return of Jesus Christ, may I encourage you to get ready today by receiving Him as your Savior. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world, that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Just believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died for your sins, was buried, and rose from the dead by the power of God for you, so that you can live eternally with Him. Pray and ask Him to come into your heart today, and He will. Romans 10.13 says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Keep looking up, for your redemption draweth nigh. Let us join in the prayer of John the Revelator. Even so come, Lord Jesus. Amen.